Hi there. This is a quick recap of four network protocols. NFS, SMB, FTP, and HTTP. And here they are used to stream videos to Android devices. But first, let's go to the PC. Fedora Desktop. I have three disk drives. Let's concentrate on the 2TB GPT disk. Three Linux distros on STB6, 7 and 8. And two NTFS disks. All Office and Multimedia files are on these two partitions. In FS tab, these two partitions have to give the Linux user, which is myself, read-write permission, which the network shares will inherit. I use UUID and add folders as mount points to the MNT directory. Open stb4, open initpub and wwroot. Here is my website. For example, the uh, Christmas directory. NFS, Network File System. Just install the NFS packages and then edit the exports file. The two lines define the NFS server. Then enable and stop the NFS server. No password needed. Ready for the tablet. Galaxy Tab S7. Start VLC. Browse local network. Tap the plus button. Change to NFS. Enter the PC's IP address. No user and password needed. NFS Wi-Fi. Tap. Loading. We'll choose MNT SMB4. Here is the root of the Windows 10 partition. And here's my website. Tap the Christmas folder. And exit. Start Kodi 19.0. Videos. Files. Add videos. Browse. Tap Network File System. OK and enter the IP address. No login credentials needed. Name it NFS Wi-Fi. OK. And tap on it. Choose MNT STB4. Scroll down. Init pub. WWW root. And here is my website again. Christmas folder. Exit. Kubuntu Desktop. After installing the SMB or Samba package, edit the Samba conf file. This is what I use to give me read-write access to the name folders. You do not have to limit shares to the user's home directory. Then enable and start SMDB and NMDB service and add my SMB password. Same as for login. Go to the tablet. I have started VLC. SMB Wi-Fi. The IP address and my username. OK. Had to enter my password the first time around. All SMB shares. Scroll down to www. Which is my website. Exit. Start Kodi. Version 19 requires change setting for the SMB client. Minimum SMB version 1 instead of none. Restart. Videos. Files. Long press on the source for edit to show the configuration. IP address, username and password. Back. Start SMB Wi-Fi and scroll down to www, my website, and exit. After installing the VSFTPD package, edit the VSFTB conf file, local root for root folder access, and local enable equals yes for allowing the Linux user login credentials. Then system control to enable and start the VSFTPD service, which I also use as an auto start login script. Back to the tablet. Kodi. 
Long press on the FTP source to show the configuration using port 21. Back. Start FTP Linux Wi-Fi. Here is the root of the Linux partition. Scroll down to MNT and navigate to my website. The LC does not support FTP at present. Exit. Using the file manager is an alternative. Start Explorer. Tap LAN. Long press on SMB Wi-Fi to show configuration. Enter to the SMB shares. Tap FTP. Long press on FTP Linux Wi-Fi to show configuration. Enter shows the root of the Linux partition. Exit. Back to Fedora. To start an HTTP server, all you need to do is to run a script like this one. First change directory to where the website is located, and then sudo python3 m http.server8000, where 8000 is the port. I put this script in auto start. Sony Bravia Android TV. Start Firefox. Enter the HTTP address, port 8000. Here is my website. Tap Christmas folder, back. Tap the Brazil folder. Let's view Fausti Guasu. 1982, I think it was. Super 8. Sorry about the bad quality. That's it. The Linux distros and Windows 10 have the same user and password so that the network protocols work the same regardless of what system has been booted. Hope you liked it and thank you for watching.